let's go through a tour of the product. What we'll do is I'll flip over here to a System Platform 2020. You can see in the bottom right corner, this is System Platform 2020. Um, I'll launch a user-defined object and you will see, I'll make some changes here and you'll see that as I'm making changes, I'm not changing the user's uh, environment in any way. They make their changes in the IDE as they're used to doing. So I'll make, uh, I'll add an attribute, uh, change its description. I'll change this uh, the script and change the cycle time here. So users use the IDE interface just as they normally would uh, and with no changes to their normal day-to-day um, -day operations, just knowing that the changes are being tracked behind the scenes. So I'll put a comment here. It's always good to leave this comment box enabled. And then I'll check that change in. I'll go to the properties window here and show you that there is a change log <clears throat> within, within System Platform. You have a change log that shows the, that, that object checked in successfully. <clears throat> and you can see the comment here that I added about that attribute change. So we have that information in the IDE. And I could choose to export this object and maintain my own version or check it into another system. But imagine how tedious it would be to check out every version of every object every time you made a change. It's just not workable. But now let's go over to the A4SP client and we'll look at the change that we just made. So A4SP, now I'm looking at the object that I just changed. You can see that the comment here is brought over um, and all of the information associated with that object has now been exported over to the Autosave for System Platform uh, database. There is additional information that's tracked here and uh, we'll go through the compares, but before we do that, let's actually just go into the change log. You can see here that the complete change log from System Platform is brought over. So we can scroll down and show that here is the, the latest change to that, uh, uh, that object. You can see the attribute uh, and cycle time notes that I made here. So going back to the revision history, if I want to compare that and see what I did, compare that to the last revision, I hit compare, right mouse, and I can select the prior version of that object and hit compare. A4SP will build a compare report and show me the details. I can see that revision didn't, that, that attribute didn't exist in the prior revision. I can see the changes, the, the highlight here of that cycle change there from, from 125 to 150, and the rest of the script is available for my review. There's also additional compare components such as inheritance. Um, no differences uh, were found there. You didn't make any changes in that. So now if I want to go back and look at that object further, and let's say I want to compare that object to another object in my galaxy. I bring up my compare window, I'll select another user defined object and hit compare. The same type of compare is run and it will provide me the, the same level of detail between these two uh, uh, different objects. You can see here that components existed in one and they didn't exist in the prior. Now let's look at the case of if I want to compare that object to an object in a different galaxy. I'll click change galaxy here. A4SP will bring up a list of available galaxies and I'll select the one I wish to log into. I'll then log into that other galaxy and it will provide the same type of interface. I will then select the object here in the other galaxy that I want to compare. And we'll just compare this one and hit compare and you will see that I get a compare report with the same level of detail that goes through um, each of those, um, each of the objects. But here you see the different galaxies that I've compared across and you see that data shown here. And all that detail is also there as well. So now let's talk about restoring an object. Here I'll right mouse on my, my option, uh, my revision 11 here, and I'll say that I want to restore, and I shall pick an older version, version eight. I say I want to restore that version. It will build a manifest, uh, and I select the object uh, components that I want. If there's an older base template, it would be highlighted there. Perhaps I don't want to use that piece. It will allow me to select a PKG file or automatically import it back into the galaxy, and then select the features that I want and hit continue. So just pick and choose. Uh, the values that I want. So there's, in the revision stack, there is more uh, data that is shown about each of these objects. So you can see here the attribute data and inheritance, and on each revision of an object, I have that data refreshed so that I get the detailed information on each revision of that object. 
And also notice that beside the revision, there's a version and that number comes from system platform. Um, and that's a different version stack that shows a separate history. So now let's look at deleted objects. If you delete an object in the IDE, it's, uh, it's gone. But A4SD still has those deleted objects stored. So if I turn this feature on and I drill down, I see in red that I have an object. And if I want to restore that deleted object, I just right mouse on it, uh, select restore, and it will give me the ability to select that object and then push it back into the galaxy. So if you've accidentally deleted something, you can come to A4SP and restore it back into your galaxy. So now we'll just close, uh, close these objects and we'll look at some information on the, the tool menu. So under tools, there are a number of features. The, the first uh, we'll go over is a full Galaxy backup. You can do that run now, so I can run a Galaxy backup from here, or I can choose to schedule it. This will bring up a scheduling window, and I can set the days and times that uh, I wish to uh, perform the, uh, the backup on. If I want to uh, restore a, a Galaxy or compare, I can do that here. So here's where I could compare two Galaxy backups. This is a, a new capability that's of great value. I can select two uh, cabs or the current and the cab, and I select those, and it will perform a detailed comparison of the, uh, of the, the Galaxies and tell me and show me a list of all the changes. So in this case, it will it'll show me the, the change history, um, in this case, there's only been one object that's been changed across those two versions of the cab. And if I want to access the details of that object and look at the differences, I can select this open button and that will bring, bring up the, uh, the interface to let me access the, the, uh, the revision history of that object. So back under tools, there are uh, other features such as this sync button. Uh, if you need to restore a Galaxy backup and you can, you can run the sync utility and it will update all object changes since that Galaxy backup. So that if you have a hardware or, or downtime issue, you, you don't lose any object changes. Update base templates. If you buy a base template back from Wonderware, you can baseline those into the system. And there are also a number of other reports such as a uh, changed objects report. Here I select a start and end date and time. And this will look across my my time window uh, that I've selected and run this report and it will show me all of the object changes that have happened across this, uh, across this object. In this case, there was an object that existed, a new one but doesn't exist prior, one was deleted and so forth. So you have access to all of that information uh, as well. So the last thing we'll go over is the Galaxy Manager here. The Galaxy Manager is how I, um, access the multiple galaxies. You can see I have multiple galaxies uh, under management here and I can go into the settings and this is where I set things such as the email address for notifications. So if I want to have people notified of certain activities within the system, I would set those email addresses on a per galaxy basis uh, here. And then under the help menu, there is a diagnostic. Um, if you go to help about, there's a diagnostics button here. If you click that, it will build a package file you can send that A4SP uh, diagnostic file to MDT support if you have any questions or, or technical issues and, and we'll be able to have all the information we need to assist you with any, uh, any questions you might have. 